Welcome to Echoes of the Eye. We are entering into spoiler territory. We're going to discuss the design of this game. And I want to discuss this game's design because I think it offers a template for adventure games. I think it offers a way to make your adventure games more compelling to a wider audience. And I think that that's a good thing to learn. Adventure games are super niche because their primary gameplay is puzzles, and puzzles are a very fragile method of, of providing gameplay. When you employ your, your brain, you try and get your lateral thinking or your computation going, yeah, it feels great when that works out and you solve the puzzle. But you don't always solve the puzzle. It can be extremely difficult to make puzzles that work for your audience without being too easy, and uh, yeah, a lot of people look up the solutions. They basically have to, otherwise they wouldn't finish the game. When you look up the solutions, there's no rush of having figured it out. You just feel stupid because you didn't think of it. So that's a super fragile way to offer up your, your rewards for your game. So is the solution to not use puzzles? Well, not exactly. You see, this game is a Metroidvania. The puzzles are not the point. There are plenty of puzzles, but they're all very basic, right? Most of them. <laughs> we'll talk about the late game later. Because the puzzles aren't the point. Solving the puzzles isn't supposed to give you that huge rush. All of the puzzles are well within each player's grasp. Instead, what gives you that huge rush is when you unlock some new mechanic that completely changes the way you view the world, and you realize, oh my god, this world is much more interesting than I thought it was. I can do so many more things than I thought I could do. I have got to go explore again. I've got to go change around things. I've got to go figure out, wow, that was actually a puzzle back there. I didn't even realize. That's a very Metroidvania-style approach, right? You get an upgrade, and then the way you, you see the world changes. And that's basically how this game is structured. Except, of course, that when you get an upgrade, it's just you realizing you can do something. There's no, like, sudden magic power suits or anything. How to structure that is really important and critical. And so that's what we're going to study. We are going to take a, a deep, deep look into how each of these elements is structured and how the player will play the game. Mm. We'll get our feet wet in the next episode. <laughs>